EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports! If it's in the game, it's in the game! EA Sports! It's in the game! Go 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 NCAA Football 2005. Cedar River, Spartan Stadium has a beautiful view of nature at its best. It is freezing out here for today's game between the Michigan Wolverines and the Michigan State Spartans. Here come the Spartans. Today's fierce rivalry game will take home the Paul Bunyan Governor of Michigan trophy. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and helping me bring you today's game, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Spartans are looking for an upset in this one, but Kirk, I just don't see that happening. Yeah, unfortunately, this one won't be much of a contest. Michigan can do so many things on defense thanks to this young man. He can be the eighth man in the box, or he can play man coverage. And I expect everyone to know his name after this game is over. You're 100% correct. Michigan State is not going to be able to slow down this rushing attack, and I'm going to tell you why. That defensive line is going to get dominated up front, Kirk, and they're going to lose this one big. Michigan lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. We should have a return on this one. Number 21 fields it at the seven. They'll take over at the 25. Number 20 is the single setback. They get it out there on the top. Tackle. Couldn't get anything out of that. No game on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Wolverine line up in a nickelback. Breaks one. And he's hit hard. It's an excellent job of the defense here to read the draw point. Yeah, the quarterback thought he could split him out and find a hole for himself to run through. We were having none of that, my friend. Third down and 12. Ball in the 23. Number five is back in the gun. Bad snap. Steps up, looks. He wants it all, going long. Makes a move, and they tackle him. Oh, my, what do you think of that one, Kirk? Boy, I'll tell you what, the quarterback delivered a perfect pass on that play and gave them more than enough for the first down. It's first and 10, ball right around midfield. Michigan has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. He steps up, looking. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Oh, great catch. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big-time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Michigan brings in their nickel package. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. 
It's deflected, and the safety got a hand on it that time. It's second down and 10 to go, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Number 20, the lone back. He drops back. Throws, and he drops it. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Michigan State comes out in the shotgun. He's looking. He's going right. Got his man. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. From the gun. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. His receiver has it. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. This offense is a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they can make the most of it. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost a battle up front. Number five has four receivers lined up here on the ground with the tailback. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. Tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Michigan State lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 17 fields it at the nine. They'll get the ball here at the 26 yard line. Trying to get that home field advantage, and the defense is doing their best to fire up this crowd. Inside handoff. They'll bring him down to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 26. The Wolverine line up with two tight ends. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. And it falls incomplete. He put too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think the quarterback just overestimated his speed. Third and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. One man backfield. He drops back. Wants the middle with the interception. The linebacker comes down with the INT. Let me say one thing. That was a tough catch. Even for a receiver, that would have been a tough catch to make. Excellent field position to start the drive. Three wideouts here. 
And the snap goes to the back. Tackle. Three yards there on the play. Three-yard gain on the play. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28. Michigan State lines up for the shotgun set. Back to pass. Across the middle. It's tipped. There's an athletic play by the linebacker. Listen up, my friend. Nowadays, linebackers need to be able to do more than just stop the run. They got to be able to fly all around the field and play the pass, too. Third down and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. Michigan State comes to the line with three wide. Here's the long ball, left side. It falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up. And he missed it to the right. They'll go to work at the 28. Number 12 is back in the gun. On the ground with the tail mat. And he's taken down a couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and seven, ball in the 31. High formation here. Setting up the play action. He's going right. Got it. And down he goes. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. Ace backfield. They'll throw on first down. They'll make the sack. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball right around midfield. Michigan comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They're going to pitch it, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Loss of five there. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. This is the fifth play of this drive. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Throws this one out to the left. Incomplete pass. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Hold it. On the offense. The pillar moves to five. First down. Team lines up. Number 39 punted and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number two kills it the 31. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 36. The Spartans set up in the gun. He drops back. Throws. Complete. Tackle. Didn't get anything. No game on the play. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Michigan State, seven. Michigan, nothing. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 36. Ace backfield. 
Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looks. He's going right. Incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Michigan State in a five-wide set. Back to pass. Looking. He tosses it short. And it's incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. He gets it away. Number 15 fields it at the 26. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 43. Nickel defense. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Throws it to the outside. His receiver has it. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. Second and two. Ball right around midfield. Ace backfield. He drops back. Wants the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Overthrew his intended target. We talked about this before, how pressure causes the quarterback to hurry his passes. Here he felt the blitz coming and got rid of the ball a little too quickly. It's third down and two to go. Ball right around midfield. The Wolverine come to the line with their jumbo package. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled. And the halfback runs for the first. The reason that play was successful is simple. They got a good push up front. All the back had to do was run past that little yellow line right there. First and 10. Ball on the 46. Michigan comes out with three receivers bunch. They're going to pitch it. And he's stopped behind the line. Slow developing play, and it got them nowhere. In fact, they'll lose yardage. Nah, just stick the ball in the middle if you're going to run it. Stick it in the middle. Second and 12 coming up here, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Inside handoff. And they make the stop. Nine-yard pickup. Nine-yard gain on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Wolverine line up in a goal line formation. Third and short, they hand it off. They'll bring him down. They try to play a little power football there. Yeah, but they got outpowered. And short. They're going to pitch it. Spins upfield. Bounces off the would be tackler. They bust up the play and stop him on fourth down. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on down. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. Yeah, it was worth the gamble, even though they didn't make it. They'll take over at the 39 yard line. Number 20, alone in the backfield. They go with a toss. And he's drilled. Three-yard gain by the running back. The second down and seven to go. Ball on the 42. 
The Spartans line up with three wide. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third down and seven. Ball on their own 42. The Wolverines bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Couldn't haul it in. He put a little something extra on that throw, and the receiver mishandled it. He needed oven mitts for that one because it was a hot tamale. And they're ready to pump this one away. Number eight, punts it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 15, calls for the fair catch. He drops it. Turkey broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Number 20, lines up as a single back. They hit it off. They'll drop him for a loss. Here the tailback had really nowhere to go. The defense does a good job of getting penetration, and they were able to wrap him up for a loss. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 29. The Wolverine bring in the nickel package. He's looking. Watch the middle. It's deflected. Great range as he's able to break up the pass. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Number five comes to the line with three wide. Oh, he had a shot at the pitch. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Comes in for the field goal that could put them up by two scores. It's up. And he hooked it left. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. Number 12 is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Over the middle. It's dropped. Almost a nice catch. This is a missed opportunity here. The receiver got his hands on the ball, but couldn't quite pull it in. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball of the 29. Number five is the single setback. Drops back to pass. Throws it out there. And it's caught. And he's taken down. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yeah, just a wasted play right there. Third and eight. Ball on the 31-yard line. Michigan comes to the line with three wide. Nice play fake. Throws it to the outside. Tackle. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. Michigan comes out with three receivers bunch. They are going to pitch it. He's hit and got away. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Pro formation here. He drops back. He's going left. Number 17. Picks it off. 
And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. here at the 20-yard line. The Wolverines bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Michigan State in a four wide set. Pitch left. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Michigan calls a timeout. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on their own 19. The Spartans set up in the gun. A handoff on a counter. Brought down. Michigan takes a timeout. So they're set to punt this one away. Number eight punched it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 15 takes it at the 45. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 44. Michigan comes out with two tight ends. He drops back. Looks, wants to throw outside. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. Second and 10, ball on the 44. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Looking, he steps up, and there's a fumble, and I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. And that turnover's got to hurt. Yeah, they wanted to rack up some points before they have to help morale. Sorry, it didn't work. Set up shot at the 48. The Spartans come out showing three wide. Back to pass. He's looking down the middle. It falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Spartans line up with three wide. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. Pressure coming. Going deep, lays it out there. Someone got a hand on it. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball right around midfield. Michigan comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He's into the open field. Michigan State calls a timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 41. Michigan has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Drops back to pass. He's in trouble. 
He's looking, and they get the sack. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, Michigan State 7, Michigan nothing. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 17 takes from the 10. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping on the receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. They'll take over at the 14-yard line. Two tight ends here. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That blitz couldn't have worked any better for the defense or any worse for the offense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 14. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Look out. Got him at the 40. And he's tackled. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 42. Michigan lines up in a shotgun set. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. He drops back. He's going right. It's tipped. Great defensive play by the cornerback. Third and nine, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Wolverine come out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Across the middle, someone got a hand on it. Was that the same pass play again? If it wasn't, it sure looked like it. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number 39 gets it off. Number two fields it at the 24. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 23-yard line. The Spartans go with the I formation. They'll give it off here. They'll bring him down. And a first down for the running back. It's a big first down for this offense. Now maybe it'll take some of the pressure off the quarterback. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Michigan lines up with five defensive backs. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. And they got it. 
He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Man, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. Second and long, ball on their own 29. Number five comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Across the middle. Oh, great catch. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. First and ten, ball on the 45. The Wolverines line up in a nickel back. And they make the stop. The quarterback draw goes nowhere. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Spartans come out showing three wide. That snap. And he stopped behind the line. And they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. And there was absolutely no place for that quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Five wide. He drops back, looks, wants the middle, and got it complete. They convert on third and long, guys. With well, the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. First and 10, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. They'll bring in their dime package. Drops back to pass. He's rolling right. Throws it to the outside. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Number five with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside, and he's tackled. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into season-ending ones. First and ten, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. The Spartans come out in the ace formation. On the ground, up the middle. And down he goes. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 18. The Spartans come out in the ace formation. Down the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. Relax and just make a good throw. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Number five comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Steps up, looking. Wants to throw outside. In and out of his hands. This incompletion is credited to the wide end. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Comes in to attempt the field goal, and this will make it a two score game. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary.
And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Michigan State 10, Michigan nothing. Michigan State to kick this one off. Number 17 and number 15 back deep to return. Number 15 takes it to 12. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. Now let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. Michigan sets up with four receivers. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Across the middle. Got it. Brought down. That one worked pretty well. It's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. It's second and inches. Ball on their own 28. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays. And right now, they're not having much luck at all. Back to pass. He tosses it short, and they make the stop. He fired that ball in there. Yeah, good execution there. Nice job of getting the first down on that pass. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 32. Michigan lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Down the middle. It's deflected. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and just get his hand on it. Michigan State brings in the nickel here. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. He drops back. He throws a dart to the right. Complete. He's knocked out of bounds. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Three wideouts here, and this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Drops back to pass. He's under some heat, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. The defense looking to make this crowd a factor. Number 39 gets it off. Number two fields it at the 39. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 45-yard line. The Wolverine bring in the nickel package. That snap from center. He passes it, and it's caught. And they got him for a loss. A one-yard loss. One yard loss on the play. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 44 yard line. The Spartans line up in an I formation. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He didn't really have a chance on that play. Boy, guys, how about the defense on this play? They sniffed that play out from the start. Third down and 12. Ball on the 43-yard line. Nickel defense. On the ground with the tailback. 
They'll drop him for a loss. An incredible series for the defense, and they get him out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. He punts it. Number 15 takes it to 28, gets past the tackler. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 39. Michigan comes out of the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. He's got all day. He's going to go for the home run. And he can't hang on to it. The tailback dropped that ball. Yeah, his technique was all off. He's got to do a better job next time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. So short, and it falls incomplete. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. If he didn't hold on to the ball so long, Kirk, he wouldn't have got drilled like that. The Spartans line up in a nickel back. Throws this one out to the left. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. It's tipped. That one could have been an interception. Number one, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. Batted ball. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, that ball should have been kicked off there. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 42. Michigan State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Wants to throw outside. And he's tackled. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. And got it complete. A nice completion that time. Good completion. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but that was exactly the same play they just ran. They're not very creative in their play calling. Creative? You don't need to be creative with these kind of results. The intensity of this place is increasing. Touchdown, Michigan! And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Michigan State 10, Michigan 7. Side here. 
Here's the onside kick. And they could not recover the onside kick. Well, it's a nice job there by their turn team to recover the football. Now they just want to run the clock out. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Michigan State will line up in a jumbo set here. Little shaky bank move. Tackle. Michigan takes a timeout. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. And off to the quarterback. They'll bring him down. Michigan calls a timeout. Third and two. Ball on the 33-yard line. Michigan State comes out in the shotgun. They'll try to get the first on the ground. And they make the stop. Michigan takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he'll take a knee. And he'll just kneel it here. Second down and 12. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he takes a knee. Third and 14 coming up here. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Michigan State will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. Another hard-fought game between these two rivals. Was this what you expected to see? When it comes to rivalry games, anything can happen. That's what makes it so great and adds to the history. It was no different here today. Big win for these guys. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2005. And our final score in this one, Michigan State 10, Michigan 7. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody.